Since the early 2000s, Cessna's Citation Encore and Bombardier's Learjet 45 have been two of the most popular jets on the larger end of the light jet spectrum. And the next step up in both families, the Encore Plus and the Lear 45 XR, continue to compete. Both planes are great options for those that want the operating costs of a light jet, but cabin size and performance capabilities closer to a mid-size jet. When it's time to make a decision between two aircraft, operating costs are often a major deciding factor. So let's take a look at what it costs to operate both the Encore Plus and the Lear 45 XR for a year. Jake, since I helped you with math when you were in first grade, I'm gonna let you take the numbers on this one. I know, you're very good with math. So if we take both planes, we're, we're flying them 100,000 miles in a year. So we're flying 100,000 miles in both the Lear 45 XR and the Encore Plus. That's gonna take in both planes about 200 hours a year, just you know for comparison's sake. The speed, this really surprised me. The Encore Plus basically keeps up with the Lear 45 XR as far as speed in the air, it's crazy. Wow. Yeah, 420 knots for the Encore Plus, 425 for the Lear 45 XR. But here's the deal, the Encore Plus burns uh, significantly less fuel. 198 gallons an hour in the air. Lear 45 is 220. So you're saving 20 gallons per flight hour in the air. Maintenance costs are also gonna be lower on the Encore Plus. So we're looking at $700 an hour if you wanna put it in a maintenance reserve, $920 an hour for the Lear 45. Insurance gonna be about the same, $12,000. Um, Pilot expenses are gonna be about $10,000 more expensive on the Lear 45. That's if you're doing both of them with two pilots, but the significant difference between the Encore and the 45 is that the Encore can actually be flown single pilot and the Lear 45 needs two pilots. That's right, yeah, absolutely. Depending on your requirements, you can fly the Encore Plus single pilot. And the direct operating costs yearly, if we just look at it from, okay, we're flying 200 hours a year, Direct operating costs for the Encore Plus is $350,000. This is just national average. What you pay for fuel is gonna significantly change this. With the Lear 45, it's $410,000. Um, and then the fixed prices, budget about 60 grand more. Uh, fixed costs for the Lear 45 XR at um, $397,000 a year versus the Encore Plus, which is 330, 340. Very good. When Cessna upgraded the original Encore to the Plus model in 2007, they added FADEC to improve fuel efficiency and changed the avionics from Primus 1000 to ProLine 21. The Lear 45 XR has the BR engine modification standard, which was an upgrade on the straight 45. It's also important to note that the Lear typically has an APU, which is not available on the Encore or Encore Plus. And operations costs for that APU are included in the numbers Jake presented. For the extra cash, you get a plane that's faster, a range that's about 200 nautical miles longer, and a larger cabin with room for one more passenger. Unless you're operating single pilot, in which case someone gets my favorite seat in the plane, co-pilot seat. The 45XR's cabin is only two inches taller and three inches wider, but it's a solid two and a half feet longer, creating room for that one extra passenger. The Lear also has nearly double the useful payload and slightly better luggage capacity. As far as range is concerned, the Lear 45XR is capable of flying approximately 1,870 nautical miles with four passengers, and the Encore Plus is capable of flying 1,700 nautical miles with four passengers. What do you think? Is the Learjet worth it, or do the Encore Plus's value and ability to be flown with one pilot outweigh the luxuries and speed of the 45XR? Visit wepush10.com slash resources to learn more about current market values and find even more valuable resources for buying or selling an aircraft.